Let's take a deep dive to explore every section of SEO Rankings website audit tool and discover how ready a website is for search engines and actual people. Be sure to first check out our quick overview video of the tool before moving on. Under the Issue Reports section, you will find a detailed report on all of the issues that are affecting your website's performance in search. The report is based on the analysis of more than 120 parameters, which is ranking has organized into 16 different categories. Depending on how critical an issue is, check results can either be an error, a warning, a notice, or a past check. Besides pointing out and describing issues, Website Audit can also tell you what exactly needs to be fixed and how. You can click on the number of found issues in any row to get a complete list of pages with that issue, along with detailed information on each page. You're also free to download the Website Audit report, email it to a client or colleague, or share access to it via a guest link. The Website Audit tool also allows you to quickly create an XML sitemap. Just specify which pages must be included in the sitemap and configure the necessary parameters. Under Crawled Pages, you can see a list of every found page along with a detailed breakdown of detected issues. Make sure to click on the Issues count to see the full list of a page's issues. To make the analysis process more convenient, you're free to use the built-in filters as well as custom ones. And if you want to separately analyze different language versions of the site or pages from certain website sections, you can choose to view results by directories instead of by pages. This will help you get a good understanding of the site's structure, subdomains, categories, language versions, and so on. Under Found Resources, you will find information on the analyzed site's images, CSS, and JavaScript files. By clicking on a number under the source URL column, you can check on which pages the resource is used and whether search engines can crawl it. For images, you can also check the alt text. In addition, you will see the status code for each resource, its size, and loading speed. You can also use built-in quick filters to look at all resources together or choose to analyze images, CSS, and JavaScript files separately. The next section contains information on the analyzed site's found internal and external links. For each link, both external and internal, every key parameter is displayed, namely the server status code of the page the link points to, the link type, hyperlink, image link, canonical, hreflang, meta refresh, CSS or JavaScript, the link source, as in the page on which the link is placed, the anchor text and type, all texts for image links, and you can see whether the link is a do or no follow. As soon as two or more audit reports are ready for a single project, you can compare their results under the crawl comparison section. Plus, you can see the dynamics for every parameter. Now, let's move on to the tool's flexible setting options that allow you to have complete control over the website audit process and resulting report. Under Schedule, you can automate the audit and run it on a weekly or monthly basis. Just make sure to specify the day and time of the check. Here, you can also specify the email to which the report will be sent. Under Source of Pages for Website Audit, you can specify which pages the tool should scan. The options are either all pages of the site or all pages of the site along with subdomains. The system can audit your site based on your own XML sitemap. After the first audit, the service will automatically locate your sitemap. Another option allows you to manually add a link to the XML sitemap by clicking on the Add Sitemap button. You can also upload a custom list of pages you want the system to check. To do this, add a TXT or CSV file with each URL entered on a new line. Under Rules for Scanning Pages, you can specify whether our bot should take into account no index and no file directives, as well as robots TXT file directives. You can also add additional rules to include or exclude certain website directories or folders from the audit. To prevent our bot from crawling duplicate pages, you can instruct it to ignore URL parameters. If your site's pages are closed off from crawling, use parser settings to enable our tool to audit your site. Select the user agent name that will be used by the service to crawl the site and give it access to the pages by specifying the username and password. Under Limits and Restrictions, you can select the maximum number of pages that can be crawled. Before setting the number, check your subscription plan's account limits to see how many pages are available for one site. Be sure to also specify the maximum scanning depth and the maximum number of requests that can be sent to the server. 
Under Report Setup, you can independently change some parameters that the system takes into account when crawling a site. For example, if a length of a title in one of the pages of the analyzed site goes beyond or falls short of the length recommended by the service, from 10 to 70 characters, an error will be indicated in the report. You're welcome to change these parameters depending on your goals. And the last section here is Monitored Issues. Here, you can disable some checks if you think they are irrelevant for your site. Such checks won't be taken into account during the audit and will not affect the overall health score of the analyzed website. And that is it. We have reviewed every corner of the website audit tool. If you have any questions, reach out to us or visit our knowledge base. Thank you for choosing SEO Ranking and happy SEOing.